Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 2 meter cotton fabric. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. So let's get started. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies. And for that, I've cut out the required length. That is 14 inch including 1 inch of seam allowance from the fabric. And I have folded the fabric twice in width. So I have four layers of fabric. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder take half of shoulder width. In my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I'll deduct half inch as this is sleeveless top. You can add sleeves if you want to. I'll just extend this point. Mark 1 inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point. From the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst and 14.5 inch shoulder to waist and the length of bodies. Extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 3 is 31. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.75 inch. Join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Adding seam allowance. Now I'll draw armhole curves. From the waist, mark 2 inch upwards. And join it straight to the neck width point like this from neck width point mark 1.75 inch outwards mark the same point till the bottom Join these points. Now this is a width of border I'll attach while stitching. And you can change the width as per your choice. And I'm going to cut this shape only on the front part. For back, I'll be making round shape neckline. And back neck is 5 inch deep. So bodies marking is complete. I'll cut the bodies. And I'll cut the necklines separately. Mm -hmm. 
so I've cut the bodies now I'll separate both front and back fold it again and I'll cut the neckline and armhole I'll cut it from this line leaving 0.25 inch of seam allowance so I have cut the front neckline now back neck width is same 3 inch and back neck depth is 5 inch adding half inch for seam allowance again mark neck width point 3 inch and join these points now I'll draw round shape so I've cut the bodies now I'll cut the bottom for bottom I'm making half circle skirt so I've cut out the required length and I've folded the fabric by half in length I have two layers of fabric now I'll mark the radius which will be waist round plus ease divided by 3.14 in my measurement waist round is 28 inch and I'm adding 3 inch of ease as I did for the bodies so 28 plus 3 is 31 and dividing it by 3.14 I'll get 9.5 inch approximately so radius for my measurement will be 9.5 inch from the top corner mark a point at 9.5 inch and mark the same point till the other end adding 0.25 inch of seam allowance now from this point I'll mark the bottom length which will be full length of top minus body's length in my measurement full length of top is 32 inch and body's length is 14 inch so 32 minus 14 is 18 adding 1 inch for seam allowance now measure the same from the top this is around 28.5 inch now mark the same point till the other end So marking is complete, now I'll cut it. So cutting off my top is completed, now I'll stitch it. So I've cut these two fabric strips, 18 inch long and 2.5 inch wide including 0.25 inch of seam allowance on both sides and it will be placed like this I'll trim the seam allowance later and I have cut another fabric strip to be placed on the waistline like this so as you can see this looks so simple and you can't even differentiate between the top and the border so to give it a creative look my sister has done this beautiful one stroke fabric painting you can check out the detailed video on her channel trims and tassels i'll share the link in the description box and now i'll just finish the borders to finish the border on the neckline i've cut the facing from the same fabric of same size now place the facing on the border and make a stitch on one side now 
I made a stitch and I have ironed it. So we have finished edge on one side. Now I will overlock it from the other side. So I have overlocked it and the border is ready to attach with the neckline. Similarly, I will finish this one. And for waist border, we don't need to add facing. Just fold the seam allowance on both sides and iron it. So I finished both borders. Now I will place it on the neckline. Now I want this overlap part under the waist border so I'll just adjust the border accordingly. Now mark the placement. Now I'll again cut the neckline according to the placement leaving 0.25 inch for seam allowance. So I have folded and ironed the seam allowance. Now I'll attach the border. So I have placed the border. And this is how it will look. Now I'll make a top stitch on the neckline. I have pinned up the border. Now I'll make a stitch. So I have attached the border, now I will trim the excess fabric. Now place the base border like this. Pin it up. Now I'll make a top stitch.
So I have attached the border and this is how it looks. Now you can wear inner under this top because neckline is deep. Else take the piece of same fabric, double fold it and place it under the top according to the neckline depth. And make a stitch to secure it. So I have attached the piece and with this front neckline is ready. Now I will finish the back neckline. To finish the back neckline, I will use the bias tape. So I finished the back neckline. Now I will finish the bottom round. Just double fold the fabric and make a stitch on the inner edge. Make small cuts all around the bottom waistline. Now I'll attach the bodies with the bottom. These small cuts allow you to attach curved waistline of bottom with the straight waistline of bodies easily. Now place the bodies on the bottom right sides together and stitch the waistline. Now place the back on the front right sides together and stitch the shoulder slope on both sides and I will also finish the armholes using bias tape. I have stitched shoulder slopes and I have also finished armholes. Lastly I will stitch the side fitting seam on both sides. Similarly, I'll stitch the other side. 